What's up, everybody? Oh, yes. It's that time for another Gray Space review. That is not the official <laughs> jingle. But, but it might be the official be. jingle it from now be. on, man. You never know what this guy sitting next to me, man. Right. It might be the official jingle, <laughs> right. man. You just never know. Right. Well, welcome back to our review show. Uh, we've been absent for a couple weeks. So glad you guys can join us. Yes. First up, let me just say, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button right here. Okay? Right there. Just hit that thing. Uh, it helps us out a ton. Hit that thumbs up. Yes. Hit that like. And then click that share. And you send it out to the people. So what do we got, man? What are we reviewing today? We got one that... Uh, we've You know, we've actually had some time to marinate on this, so I'm actually pretty excited yes. about this. Yep. We've got Nas. Nas. King's Disease. Yeah, man. Yep. Uh, it's been out for a couple weeks a couple now. A couple weeks, yeah. It's been out for a couple weeks now. And so, like I said, we've had a lot of time to marinate on this. Mm -hmm. um, and first initial thoughts on, on the album. No, you know. No ratings. Uh, yeah, no ratings. Very, Just like, what do you I think was, about I was, I was looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Uh obviously and then when it dropped i was looking forward to diving into it um without giving it away too much uh it's nice yeah that's, that's why he's yes. that's why he's normally <laughs> right. put in the top five yeah, conversation okay. yeah, man. um yep. so let's 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 well let me just tell you a little let, a little, let me let, let me hear yeah let's let's, little, let's, let's know. know what zeke thinks about this um uh, really cool project, man. Um, produced by Hit Boy. Okay. The whole yeah, yeah. project produced by See, Hit I Boy. Not, I did not know that. So the I whole project okay. was produced. All right. Uh, by one producer. So that's not typical. Uh, when it comes to a full length mm. album. By the way, production. Since you said that, you brought that up. Production. Fire on this, man. Just, just a fire. Production level on this, yeah, exactly. You keep doing that over and over, right? right. It really is like it really just, is just uh, song after song. You know, you get that. Um, I also uh, we can. I, I want to say I love the way that this album is uh, constructed. Yes, um, I know that's a big thing between you and myself is the way a project is actually constructed. You know, um, yes. sometimes. A project might be okay, but the way they put it together might not be, it might be, eh, you know, right. you're like, well, we're, I don't understand what they were thinking, you know, as a pro this is a clear vision from Nas, um, which I have mad respect for, for sure, you know, um, to put these days, you know, as you know, it's either mixtape hit collectors, you know, right. Y you don't get these projects. It it's very far and few between that you get a full project and, a body of work. Um, so totally let's, agree. let's dive in. Track let's dive by in. Track, let's dive know? in. Cause I don't want to give away too much. I have more to say about the whole album, but I kind of want to go track by track and then we'll die. We'll, we'll give our closing statements. We're gonna dive in. Yeah. Let's dive in, man. So let's start off with King's disease, the title track of the album. Um, and you and I go back and forth on this about, yes. do you, start off the album with the title track. Right. And so with this project, I actually, actually really agree with him putting this on yes. the very first track because it sets up the whole album. It sets up everything on the album. So what I was going to say, but since we're here is there's no interludes, there's no uh, skits, um, no, there none of that on this it's album, just music. which I really appreciate. Thank you so much, Nas, for doing that yes. for me. <laughs> yes, and it was not for me, but you know, I really do appreciate that. But there are like I think two or three songs on here, like a minute and twenty some odd seconds long. Right, and we'll get one there. One minute thirty. We'll get there. Which is and and King's Disease is that as well. I think it's right. like one forty five something like that. Anyways, right. But it's still a song, and it's still and it's the. Bars, but he's he sets up this it sets album up the tone. perfectly, it sets and the I tone think there's sure. no other way to start off this album than to have King's Disease 
right on the top to let you know Boom. what you're getting yourself into. The as beat you is there. To yes. The bars are there. Yes, the bars. It's for like, sure. yo, we look, we're not even going to talk about the bars on this album. OK, we might mention it a couple more times, but it's not. Nice, OK, the bars are there. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, for sure. Bars now, are always there. <laughs> this is where we start to dive into the project and what he's talking about. So, track number two, we got Blue Bands. Blue Bands. This is pretty close to the top of my, my list of... Uh, now, this whole project, by the way, is it, to me is is fire. But uh, as far as if you want to dissect a song or something... Right. I, I don't know. This is another... I, again, I'm going to probably go back to this a couple more times. But the way this is constructed... Like, cause it gives you the intro basically, which mm-hmm. is King's Disease, and then Blue Benz just comes in and basically knocks your head off. Yeah, I mean, just basically is what it does. It's yeah. just gonna, it's gonna hit you. It's gonna hit you hard. And you get all the storytelling. You get all the. And look, this is what Nas has always been incredible at: is the ability to not only spit bars and just mm-hmm. have that lyrical ability, but his storytelling. It's very Biggie ish. In a way, but the way he does it is so different. It's it's you got to really pay attention, right? Yes. And so everything is there mm. for. If you're a Nas fan, you're gonna love this album, and you're definitely gonna love this track. If you're maybe fan, then you're gonna definitely love this track, right? right. Uh-huh. So then it goes to first name Charlie, last name Wilson. Car 85, Car 85 featuring Charlie, mm. the legend, Wilson. We already know what he does. Right. And the whole song is about this basically hood limo taxi service. Mm. And Car 85 was the one that you wanted to call. Right. <laughs> it was like every, he had the whole setup for right. the hood. That's the one like, you wanted to be in. I'm, right. Look, right. hey, I'm calling Car 85. To go to the club, I'm calling right. Car 85 to pick up my shorty. You know what I'm saying? Like this was this this is that song, and then that who that Charlie yeah. Wilson on there, <laughs> right, man, right. Car 85, oh, so man. good, man. It's just so good, soulful, classic. Yeah, of fire. course. Then we get into Ultra Black. Um, I think just, the first single released mm, off the album, yeah. right? It was the first official single. If I remember correctly, that that is it, correct. It should yeah. be right. Yeah, um, just another dope song featuring uh, uh, Hit Boy on there, man. Right. Um, very powerful song. Obviously, the name of the song, Ultra Black. I mean, if you need any more explanation, I don't, yeah. go listen to the we song. We're going go Ultra Black, to yeah, for sure. <laughs> then we get into Twenty Seven Summers. Twenty Seven Summers. Man. Now, Twenty Seven Summers is dope because it's got this traditional Drake vibe mm. of the beat. Right. Right. But Nas does it and he flips it in a way that only he can flip it. Bitch. Mm. I'm in a dun, 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 You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, man, like, right. Oh! Yes. Right. And this is the tracks on the album that's actually a short track. Right. 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 Where I was like, yo, please have an extended version of mm. that track. <laughs> please have something sitting in the pocket somewhere. So Nas, I know you're not watching this, but you need to be watching this. And if you have an extended, if you got 28 summers, put out 20. I need 28 summers. Right. <laughs> I need 28. Uh, dope, man. And then after that, we have Replace Me featuring uh, Big Sean and uh, Don. Can you remember? The, I can't remember his, uh, his name. Uh, Tovier, maybe? Yes. Uh, okay. So memory serves me correctly. Um, so. Uh, actually, the next two, uh, w- even with uh, Till uh, the War is One featuring uh, Lil, Lil Durk. Lil Durk, yes. Um, so these have the, the taste of the new mm-hmm. modern uh, hip hop. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're going to do, for me personally, if you're going to do a new t- twist, on mo- this is how you do it. Yes. Um, I personally don't really get into the new hip hop these right, days right like how these kind of have the, the you know the um auto tune yep. type of stuff to it but it's backed with Nas's bars and big sean oh my i don't know man like the hook is fire 
Th- that's what the I'm saying. The hook is like, fire. The way they did the hook. This is the way you make yes. these songs. Like, I, I'm okay. Listen, man. I, I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant here. I'm so sick and tired of songs sounding. They all now. If you take just the hook of this song, uh, and this is what all hip hop sounds like to me personally. Right, right. It does mm-hmm. right, and it gets very wearing on on my ears. <laughs> right. And you know, I'm just not really that into it because what happened. To the bar spitters, man. Right, right. But I agree. when you combine the two, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. And it's like, oh, well, this is how this is, should be done. And here's the opinion. other thing I love you about know? this song is that Nas, the storyteller that he is, mm. but the underappreciated storyteller that Big Sean is. And for those two to get on a track and do their thing and then have this kind of new energy. Obviously, Big Sean's kind of a newer artist. But this newer energy, like fire, fire, fire track. And then to follow it up, right, mm. with Till the War is Won, right. with Lil Durk, and to still have that new energy and Lil Durk doing what he always does, which is classic, dope, new age type of hooks and energy, and that kind of contrasting the bar mm. spinning of Nas. Yes. Right. But it makes sense. Like, it makes total Everything sense, Everything makes sense. Yeah. It Everything just, makes uh, sense. It's so well constructed. Then after that, we have All it's Bad. All Bad. Featuring da, 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 da. Anderson Pack. Anderson Pack. Pack. Now, I do have to say this. I, I really do dig this song. Mm-hmm. I really do. It's mm-hmm. uh it's up there in like one of my top songs. Mm-hmm. But I have to say... Anderson Pock, you're getting a little bit overplayed, in my opinion, Why with a lot have? of fe- features going on. I don't know. I, I, I think I think APAC. Getting, I think APAC is. It's is, getting close for me though. Like I'm still I digging know. it. I, I, all right. I, I like that we we disagree a little know. bit. I like I it because we usually are at agreement. I see. Me, I need more from APAC. I see, need more from Anderson Pack. I just need more solos. I need right. more projects. Right, but see, I see him on a lot of different. Yeah. You know, featuring yo, he, and featuring and but featuring. Yo, but he might be the next like Nate Dog in that mm, in that way where that's a good he's way got that it, vibe. Man. Yeah, that's a good way. And you need that vibe to just take your track to the next level. I get it. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Cool. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But I still think he might be pushing it just a little bit. Keep pushing it, April. <laughs> keep keep pushing it, Anderson. <laughs> what do I know? I don't know. Shit. And I look. I, <laughs> No, nobody gave you the nickname APAC. I just gave you the right. Nickname. There you go. Take APAC. it. It's yours. Shout out to APAC. Anderson <laughs> Pack. Then after that, we have the definition featuring Brucey e. B. Oh, dope man. I like that. Um, the definition. Uh, because he goes into even uh, defining uh King's disease. Right. So again, you have the thread in there of King's disease, and they keep giving you this thread. Throughout the whole album, and this one, the definition of it, right. you know, just from a different uh, aspect of uh, Brucey e. B, um, you know, taking his take on right King's King's disease exactly, and I love it, man. It's just really dope, just really dope that they did that. Getting hyped because now my favorite song on the album, Full Circle, dude, Full Circle, man, A Z, oh my god, Foxy Brown. The Firm. Cormiega. <laughs> Dr. Dre, The Firm. Yeah, man. The Firm, back in effect. Yeah. Dr. Dre is not even listed not as even a listed. feature, and he's on the end. He, you know, he gives you that little, but the, oh, I remember you, oh, you were like, is that, oh, is that Dr. Dre? Oh, on it? my God. I think and we rounded Foxy. it a couple times, man. Oh, my God. She had, yes. Thank you. For coming back and and just giving it that raw Foxy Brown bars energy delivering man just delivering my favorite song on the album by far it's not even close it's not even close my favorite song cool man and then after that we have ten points ten points uh just just standing just really staying in line with the bars and the storytelling and the and yeah and then the cure which is just uh Nas again spitting. Like Dre said, you just you're gonna you know you're getting bars mm-hmm. when, especially when it's just Nas. I mean, uh, you, you got uh, it's just awesome the way this is so constructed. Then yes. it ends up on Spicy, you know, um, featuring Fivio Foreign. Mm, 
Yeah. And my guy ASAP Fur. Right. And right. Let me tell you something. Again, an, another new wave type of song, mm-hmm. but to end it on this note is it's 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 got it's got flavor, it's got yeah. hype and mm-hmm. ferg. Jeez Louise, my guy, chill the fuck out. Right, chill out. Um, just man, again, uh, the way this is constructed is incredible damn near flawless i would say that this is the nas album that we have been waiting for classic correct i i i called Pretty it I, classic. Call, I called you and i said instant classic, classic. so we're gonna so. make it easy okay mm-hmm. and we're gonna say how many clouds is it right and i'm gonna say ten Oh, well, <laughs> something like that. I'm just right? Gonna, well, how do we I do just, it? We gotta put up it's two clouds. clouds, man. It's, right here, it's ten, ten clouds. Ten clouds, man. Ten, ten clouds, clouds for both of us, man. Easy, instant classic, no problem. Uh, this is if you're just a hip hop fan, classic, purist. Man. This is the album that you need to go listen. to. Yes, please. I think this is actually probably one, if not the best hip hop album of this year. I agree. So. I agree. I think so, everybody so, needs so to go far, check this, this is out. The hip hop album of the year. Yeah. Everybody need to go check it out. We got anything else to say, man? That's it. That's it, man. Subscribe. Yes. Like. Share. And as always, y'all know the rest. Peace. Peace.